Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines philanthropy as goodwill to fellow members of the human race. Most people think of philanthropists as wealthy individuals, celebrities, but they don't think of philanthropists as individuals who simply make a decision to give their time, talent, and treasure. And then when individuals think about African Americans, they think of African Americans as being beneficiaries of philanthropy and not donors. Belva Denmark Tibbs is exhibit committee chair of the Soul of Philanthropy Cleveland, a group committed to educating and expanding the conversation around charitable giving in Northeast Ohio. That conversation begins with two new exhibits at the Cleveland History Center, designed to bring visitors along on a visual journey of African American philanthropy. There are two parts uh, of solo philanthropy. There's the traveling exhibit, which was influenced from a book uh, by Valeda Fullwood. It's a giving back, a look at the traditions of giving in African American community. The traveling exhibit features vignette stories paired with black and white images, interactive kiosks, and a chalkboard wall to allow visitors the space to express the reasons why they give back. Just steps away, local examples of philanthropy in our own community. We're calling it Celebrate Those Who Give Black. And so we have a number of, of individuals in the community and groups in the community who have been doing a lot to build up Cleveland. And sometimes those stories are untold or even unknown. The Soul of Philanthropy Cleveland collected nearly 140 names of individuals who give back in one form or another. A selection committee narrowed down the list to 15 honorees. 12 are in this broad hidden philanthropist category. Among those selected, 11-year-old Logan Williams, who distributes blessing baskets to the homeless. Coach Andre Morton, founder of Rhythm and Stroke, a free swimming program created to address the high number of drowning deaths in the black community. Pastor Richard Gibson, attorney and senior pastor of Elizabeth Baptist Church. The church houses the largest prison ministry in the state. And Kristen Farmer, the founder of Birthing Beautiful Communities, an organization dedicated to reducing infant mortality rates. Philanthropy has taken on a new meaning for me um, that it's not just about the monetary resources that can be given, but your time, your passion, your compassion, your support, your love. Farmer says she's never considered herself a philanthropist, but that she's passionate about her work with pregnant moms something she says she was destined to do. Birth and Beautiful Communities was created to address and the mission stands as addressing and improving the community and systemic structures that lead to poor birth outcomes. And one of those pillars out of the five pillars that we have is rooted in culture. Um, and a part of that is around giving back uh, to the community in a way. And so doula, uh, which is a birth worker, which is a Greek word that actually means a woman who serves. Cheryl Perez, programming chair for the Soul of Philanthropy Cleveland, helped design more than a dozen community discussions around the exhibit. Topics include women in philanthropy, the next generation of giving, and how different cultures view giving. You know, oftentimes when you think of philanthropy, you just think of writing that check, you know, giving that money. But in the black community, it goes way beyond that because oftentimes we're earning less and so we have less disposable income. And so we really choose to embrace philanthropy by giving, you know, giving to our neighbors, giving to our neighbors' children, giving to our churches, volunteering, fostering children, um, you know, really t partaking in those activities that go beyond just writing a check, but really give to the organizations and enable them um, in the community to really go out there and serve. We've got to tell the story uh, 10 different ways, 10 different times until it becomes ingrained in our society that yes, African Americans are philanthropists and African Americans tend to give more despite the fact that we may not earn as much, we give more. The many stories of generosity, honoring and celebrating the past and present, and through these faces, perhaps empowering future generations of givers. Personally, my children, it's important for my children to see this type of work, to see themselves visually, to see other black people that are out there doing what they're doing. I think it's about you know, having impact um, and really knowing that the black community is an integral part of philanthropy throughout our society. 